Hello, in this video, I'm going to discuss the similarities and differences between nuclei and ganglia. Uh, so both are clusters of neuronal cell bodies that work together to perform a function. Um, so they're essentially the same thing. They're clusters of neuronal cell bodies, but they have some key differences, mostly the location. Um, so a nucleus is in the central nervous system and a ganglion is in the peripheral nervous system. Nuclei in the central nervous system, so the brain or spinal cord, can be sensory, motor, or integrative. Uh, compared to a ganglion, which is primarily sensory, most of them are sensory in the somatic nervous system, um, but they also can be motor in the autonomic nervous system. Uh, some examples of nuclei include the basal nuclei, also referred to as the basal ganglia. Um, so I personally prefer the term basal nuclei because, as you can see, there is no such thing as a ganglion in the central nervous system. So the term basal ganglia is sort of confusing because they're not actually ganglia, they're nuclei. Um, then we also have cranial nerve nuclei, which can be sensory or motor um, those are just a few examples, but there are hundreds of specific nuclei that have been identified throughout the brain and spinal cord. Um, then examples of ganglia, uh, we have the dorsal root ganglia. So those are the sensory ganglia that are located at the dorsal root of every spinal nerve. Uh, cranial nerve ganglia, there are a few. Those are sensory and located, of course, in the peripheral nervous system. Um, and then autonomic ganglia are motor. Um, so the others are all sensory, but autonomic ganglia contain motor neurons um, that are contributing to the parasympathetic and sympathetic motor function of the autonomic nervous system. All right. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.